Hello folks, uh, there's an interesting question. If uh, I were preparing for CAT, what would I, um, uh, or when I was preparing for CAT, so in that context of a, of a student who was aspiring to this, what are the things that um, I looked for or I would look for as a, as a student? And so that's um, an interesting way of uh, framing this. Um, I, I, I was naturally comfortable with, uh, with numbers. So when it comes to mathematics, I wanted lots and lots of practice nothing else and so um, I needed lots more uh, hand holding in verbal I wanted to know what to read how to read how much to read where to find reading material from how to keep at it as a habit that framework and so in math I even though I was super comfortable with ideas of mathematics I wanted a notion of completion of the entire syllabus and I wanted a sense of uh, I've always wanted a sense of completeness about my learning. So if anything that's plug and play makes me feel awkward. If, if somebody says area of a triangle is uh, in radius into semi-perimeter, I'm like, I can't, I can't be utterly comfortable with it without knowing, knowing why that is. So some, some part of my brain, because I'm comfortable with math, I want it to be more complete. If somebody told me that, look, uh, common salt is NaCl, sodium chloride, I'm done. Okay, take care. Sodium chloride, common salt, nothing, not, nothing more to it. But match, if they say in radius into semi perimeter, I want to know why, 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 why. So I want I want a, the course to dig deeper into the fundas and concepts and stuff that fascinate me. Right? And I want the course to supply a ton of material where I could make my advantage count, which is effectively ruthless practice material to amp up speed in an automatic manner. manner. And I wanted to, I want there to be a mechanism where I can devour question after question after question so that I'm automatically good at doing a ton of things rapidly to build automaticity and speed on the back of that automaticity. And I want material to be savagely good so that I can ramp up like that for what? Uh, for logical reasoning, I, I, I would want Again, not too much theory. The theoretical framework for logical reasoning, data interpretation doesn't appeal to me. I know the fundas, I'm ready. I want enormous variety. And I feel that section is something where um, uh, I can practice and solve and get better without knowing that there are mechanisms of getting better in it that simply don't occur to me. I don't know if I'm getting through. Sometimes you do one thing over and over again, you get better your speed increases, your comfort increases, your stamina increases, all of that. And sometimes you get better and better at the things that you do in a natural way that you do them, but you've shut yourself off of some other way of doing the thing. And for me, LRDI is that part. I know all my, my fundas are placed in place for quant. I know I read and read and read and get a framework for reading, I'll get better at verbal. But LRDI sometimes worry that I may get better and better and better at doing this thing my way. But what if there is completely another way of approaching a bunch of these things that I'm not even aware of. Therefore, my linear sets of improvements can take me from x to 1.1x to 1.2x to 1.3x, but probably never a, a 2.3x. There is something else that's out there. So I want the solutions to be detailed, thorough, um, uh, done by someone who's, who's, who has a clear understanding of, hey, how can we think about this? Rather than write on these four tables, fill this data, you'll get the answer. Mechanically doing and improving and articulating a thought process around how it can be done smartly. Um, I want the latter, the former I can do. If, if you pro provide a lo logical reasoning puzzle, I've seen the previous year CAT papers. You see that puzzle, you solve it. And if I see a solution which is like, oh, I solved like this and then all the data gets filled in, some mark answers after that, then if I can do it in 19 minutes with some practice I can do it in 18, 17, 16. I cannot go to 12. I cannot know how some other way of thinking can crash it to 11 and a half. And so I want the logical reasoning solutions to be to be fascinating and speak to thought process and not mechanics. And because LRDI is probably my weakest section. I'm, I would look for something that provides this. And I would look for something that provides mocks which are uh, challenging fascinating, uh, very interesting and with uh, detailed solutions and in mocks I would look for a consistency. I have seen too many mock papers or mock questions that are out there which are brilliant and then crap, 
back to back and then, then I, i don't want that because i think that the paper speaks to a certain consistency that is that not there so i would want marks to be be consistent right so that's what i would look for a um, lot of uh, reading and assistance and help in framing my thought process as far as verbal is concerned beautiful learning from fundas and, and giant backbone for ruthlessly improving speed uh solution speaking to thought processes and not mechanics when it comes to logical reasoning and uh, comprehensive fun mocks these are my this would be my go to things would be things that i would look for right so uh in many many ways the course at, at 2 am is a reflection of this they say we, we, we you put together the a product that you want to buy and then it, for us uh, it has been um, a long journey in pretty much exactly that and so one of the reasons why we teach from first principles is because we want to want to learn from first principles one of the reasons why we do um, we we keep dumping questions in mock that are not up to the mark is we hate it there's an erratic inconsistent mock uh, we, 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 we 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 i don't like logical reasoning solution which say look four possibilities come from there write down all four possibilities and then go to the question no 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 i don't even like those puzzles so we figure out ways of speaking to the heart of a puzzle we figure out ways of building from absolute fundas in mind we keep talking about how a passage is fun to read and what the fundas sitting inside the passage how one statement seemingly mild is full of snark in that passage and we are we are drawn to that and we want to figure out a way of articulating how we are drawn to it to our students so that the next time around in a passage that they think is drab they might then look at it and say no no this is fascinating i have not read it right and we can we can open up the kind of the portal in their mind to make stuff uh, feel more interesting and so 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 many many ways the two i am course we built rather painstakingly built it's a banker reflection of uh, what i would have loved to see in a course and the brick by brick i, I we've tried to build a course that uh, we would like i would have i would have loved to have bought this course it's like a background guiding light for how we have built this course so do check it out um, it's not just a number of questions or this many passages or that many tests it's a certain um, care and love and affection that has gone into building uh, the content at time so uh, and, and and it is definitely a course that i would unflinchingly buy if it were available for their preparing for this exam so so give it a shot and then do send us some any thoughts feedback on that best wishes Thank you.